Um, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't pretty. Um, I think there's a bunch of things to maybe point at, but um, I do recognize for the guys that it did feel like one of those nights where, for whatever the reason are the reasons are, <clears throat> we couldn't make a shot, and that's. You know, Lowry misses a bunch of free throws. There's a bunch of wide open looks that we don't make. And as much as I wish that they weren't human at certain times like they are, and that becomes deflating. Um, on the flip side of that, that's what we're fighting against is, okay, we're young. There will be nights, but we may not make shots. There's going to be mistakes from a, an execution standpoint or communication that gets a little bit botched because we're still learning each other and those things will happen but we've got to find a way to still like play full throttle through that and keep our competitive spirit throughout the whole game um you know the warriors play a unique style um, they are very used to playing that way. They have a, a group that's been together for a long time, and you can feel the continuity when, you, when you're watching them play and when you're competing against them. Um, and we're working towards that. Um, but I think that, you know, the, the three-point line can make scores – look and feel worse than maybe they were in terms of how the teams played. Um, you know, we had 22 turnovers. They had 15. And it wasn't like it was 22 to 5. Um, they had 19 offensive rebounds. We had 14. I mean, there's, you know, we shot 26 free throws and they shot 6. Um, but I do think our team has got to continue to find the the mental piece of this to push through the hard moments and not back off. Um, I thought Golden State's physicality was really disruptive tonight for us on the offensive side of the ball. And I'm not talking about physicality around the basket. I thought on the perimeter they pushed us off our spots. They swiped at the ball every time we caught it, every time we tried to pivot. Um, and that's been their MO for a long time. Um, it's a great opportunity for our young players to learn to feel that type of physicality. It's a great opportunity for Lowry to continue to play against teams that are gonna guard him ultra physical throughout the season. Um, and the great part is we've got a long road ahead of us. So we'll get back to work tomorrow, watch some film, practice, um, and then on to Dallas. When it comes to that long road, is it beneficial to have something like this happen this early in the season? Um. I, I don't really look at – I'm not one of those coaches that's like, yeah, I'm hoping we, we get our ass kicked because that will be good for us. Like, I don't believe in that. Um, I'd rather us go 82-0. and 0, But uh, I, there's always things you can pull out of a game. I think there's games that we've, we've played in the past and you'll win by a bunch, and there's still a lot to take from it to learn from it. Um, I think that's probably the biggest, one of the biggest responsibilities that we have as a staff right now is to prioritize what we want to take from this game and say, okay, before we play Dallas, if there's eight things from this game that we're like, okay, we'd like to address, we can probably only address three. And so we've got to prioritize what is the most important thing right now for our team, for our players individually, to help them be prepared to play against Dallas. And we'll do that after every game. Um, so. Yes, there's there's lessons to be learned. Um, you never want it to feel like it did at the end of the game, but it's our job to deal with it. You mentioned the, the physicality of the point of attack for, for their defense. When you talked about kind of the mental strength that you have to have to overcome that, but kind of what is the technique and decision-making piece there that to overcome that? Yeah, I mean, there's... There's mental strength. There's also physical strength. Um, I do think that there were some plays where our youth maybe showed. Um, but I, I do think that the when the physicality picks up, your brain needs to work a little bit quicker because the 
ball can move faster than they can. And I just felt like every time we caught the ball, it was look to shoot, look to dribble, where sometimes the best things you can do is just, I catch it, I throw it to you. And it loosens the defense up a little bit. I think there were some possessions at the end, if you like Golden State had, where they passed the ball four times and no one dribbled. Um, and so I think the, there's, there's those type of big picture concepts in the, you know, in the, the, the small scale of it. Like, yes, there's body position technique, ways to hold people off when you're going to set a screen. A lot of times you just really have to slow down and drop your hips and widen your base. You know, there are some plays where like you're running to screen and if you're straight up and down, they can just push you on the hip a little bit and you get out of position. Um, so like that's a different type of physicality than wrestling for a rebound, but it, th those are physical plays and that's stuff that we have to continue to work on. The starters have played well to open games, 14-14 against Memphis and 16-5 in this game. Mm -hmm. Have you seen something from them that you've liked specifically? Yeah, I think that they've, they've come out with a collective energy, but they've also come out of the gates in these games like very much in tune with the game plan um i thought tonight was a good example of like the willingness to move the ball early in the game i thought we had some great possessions where we had them reacting to us and as the game went the ball stopped moving quite as quickly and that allowed their physicality to creep up um i think that the the, the connectivity between like Keontae, Colin, Lowry, and some Walker has been built over time. Taylor hasn't played a ton with that group, but he's fitting in really, really well because of his understanding of his role. Um, you know, the second group is a group of guys that hasn't played very much basketball together, and so they're they're working through some some of the kinks of that. Um, because there's just moments where like when you have a guy you've played with for a while, you just sort of understand um, intuitively what you're both thinking. So I think that that first group there, you know, albeit short history together shows up sometimes. Um, and we've got to do a better job of kind of helping the whole team merge together. We mentioned uh, Lowry facing different kind of defenses. And we've seen the last couple of years that Lowry has had to face defenses in a different way than he has in his career. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate that maybe being even more difficult this season because other teams will see there's so much youth on the team that they can maybe shade off of other guys? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think um, I think Lowry's going to get game planned for in a way that he never has. I think it's been a steady progression since he got here. I think the game plan started off as being sort of for him and then he had a good year and he was an all-star and then we felt like, oh wow, they're really game planning for Lowry more. And this year I would expect it to be even more than that. Um, but it's so good for him because again, you then you have to think your way through the game. And I think that Lowry's fully capable of being really productive even if teams are game planning for him at that level. Um, we've got to help him. I've got to put him in some better spots at times. And, um, you know, he and I's relationship and my relationship with this team is still growing. Um, and also his teammates understanding, like, how Lowry is being guarded and how they can help him in certain moments. Um, so that stuff's going to continue to grow, but I think this is really good for Lowry because he's going to see such a variety. Um, and you see other top guys in the league, once they've felt all those things for a certain amount of time, then they're really used to it and they kind of have in their head, if this, then that. They kind of know what the, what the counters are based on how they're being guarded. I think Lowry's building that now. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Will.